This isn't a bad car accident or a gunshot wound. So this guy just arrived. He's completely naked, wrapped in a sheet. There's a huge medical team taking care of this patient right now. He was just running through the streets. His heart rate is dangerously elevated right now. This man is just the latest victim of a new synthetic street drug called Flocka, and it's terrifying. 911, what is your emergency? I'm going through detox mode right now. He got my money, and I want my drugs. Can you get it on off his side? When people get high, it can get scary. Some run through the streets naked. Others climb fences and get seriously injured. One man seen here trying to break into a police station. People think that they're being chased, they're being shot at, uh, the devil is chasing them. So I have a sitter. I must make a bed for all the wrong doing I've done. This right here is for Flocka, Alpha PVP. It's so cheap, the dose is going for as little as $3 a hit. This is probably the worst and the fastest uh, drug that I've seen catch on, uh, and it's probably the most dangerous that I've seen. Dr. Nabil El Sanadi says his hospital is seeing more than 100 Flaca cases a month. The number of patients coming in high on Flaca is increasing exponentially. Since last September, there have been 24 Flaca related deaths in Broward County, Florida, a third of them in the last month alone. I decided to spend 24 hours in Fort Lauderdale on the front lines of what local officials and community leaders are calling a Flaca crisis. So running through the streets naked is... It's, with Flaca, it's commonplace. It's normal. Yeah. The erratic behavior is normal. You don't know how they're going to act. That's why we have so much manpower going to all these Flaca calls. It doesn't take long before the first call comes in. You have a rescue responding to the Flaca call, correct? The call we're responding to stated that somebody's not acting normal, so we're going to respond and investigate to find out if this might be a flock of call. The woman who called the police tells me off camera that a man staying with her is high on Flocka right now. His behavior scary enough for her to call the cops. She says this neighborhood has been taken over by Flocka. I saw a woman like she was possessed. We thought she was possessed because she was talking to herself. Bobby Henry Jr. was so concerned, he decided to take out his phone and start filming. What happened that day when you took that video of the girl? It went from humor to, this can be my kid. Once you see the kids on it, the young kids, then you know that we don't have any hold on our future. And I see it spreading, just like the zombies, like a zombie movie. The numbers support what Bobby is saying, not just here, but across the country. Crime labs are seeing Flocka in record high numbers. Just in the first half of 2014, there were more than 2,000 cases. And by the end of last year, nearly 3,000 cases, with one of the highest concentrations in just three counties in South Florida. You, you look at South Florida, you've got a, a, a lot of uh, import and export companies here. You're talking about a place that has uh, distribution lines that are kind of already in place. Distribution networks that have been years in the making, from the party drug Mali now paving the way for a new kind of street drug peddled by small-time dealers. Right now, the, the main source is uh, China. Um, yeah, it's, it's predominantly purchased over the internet. It's coming through, through the mail system. Fort Lauderdale Police Detective Dana Swisher has had to become the department's in-house Flocka specialist. The most common way of, of consuming it is, is taking a little bit of the uh, crystals and sprinkling along a, a cigarette or a, a joint or a black and mild or something of that nature. Um, and smoking it. That's how 27-year-old Brandon Thomas was doing it. He says he started the flack about a year ago. What were you like on Flocka? I thought I was somebody I wasn't. If I wasn't the gangster Al Capone, then I was a porn star. So you begin to see that you're not who you think you are, you're just in your own world. No coming back from it if you don't want to. So I think I started, tried to stop probably month eight. Failed every time. He finally decided to get help and entered a drug treatment program. Back at the hospital, that's exactly what doctors taking care of the latest Flocka victim say is all too rare. Unfortunately, what we've been seeing over the past couple of months is the patients that come in as Flocka overdoses, they're just repeat offenders. They come back in over and over. So you might see the same patient 
later tonight or tomorrow. Absolutely, yeah. Chances are we will see him in the next three to five days. Before more people die, the community is taking action, recently staging a rally in downtown Fort Lauderdale. This woman lost her 26-year-old nephew to Flocka just a few weeks ago. It, it took his life. So what I want, what, what I'm here to do is to be his voice, and I just feel that he, he, will, he will want me to do that. Last week, 18 people died from Flocka. 18, one weekend. We have a problem, we need to work together to address it. All of you here today are gonna to send that message. I see it's an everyone problem. I see it as um, a one-time kill. Like, the first time you take it, it's the last time. And that is what has everyone here worried. Should people be more concerned about this drug, Flocka, than picking up Molly or Ecstasy? Any of these drugs that are sold illegally on the street could be very, very dangerous. And it's looking like it's more dangerous and more prevalent than any other drug that we've seen in emergency medicine over the last 20 years. As night falls, the round-the-clock emergency response continues. They're just hoping it's a quiet one. For America, I'm Dan Lieberman in Fort Lauderdale. Thank <laughs> you.